Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the next Blender 2.8 Materials and Textures tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to do texture painting in Blender. We will be using the default cube for this tutorial. If you go into the Texture Paint workspace, you will notice that in Blender 2.8, the cube is already UV unwrapped for us. And this is because it's a primitive shape. The cube has a pinkish purplish color to it, which indicates that there's no material. In order to add a material, open up the tool tab and then add a base color to the texture. Now if you open the drop down menu from the browse image to the link section at the top of the left hand side of the viewport and choose material base color, you will see the base color on the UV map. Now if we split the left hand viewport into two sections, And then open up the shader editor in the top section. You will notice that the material nodes are automatically being set up by Blender. Now just like in sculpting, if you hold down your F key and move your mouse, you can change the radius of the brush. And if you hold down the shift and F key and move your mouse, you can change the strength of the brush. The draw brush allows you to draw on the 3D object or on the UV map. Change the color of your brush by using the color picker. And then just draw on the cube. And notice how that the color now shows up on the UV map. Then draw on the UV map. And you'll notice that it is also showing up on the cube. The soften brush is used to soften or sharpen the image. So if you choose the soft brush and bring up the strength, draw over one of the color doodles that you previously made. And notice how that it will soften and blur the color. Your sharpen object will do exactly the opposite. The smear brush blends the color in the direction of the mouse or pen movement. This is similar to a smudge brush in GIMP or Photoshop. So select the smear brush and draw over a section of the color doodle. And notice how the color is being smeared. The clone brush copies the image from a specified location to the active location. Select your clone brush and control click on any area that you want to pick up a color. In this case, I'm just going to use the base color of white. This will choose the base color. Then hold down the left mouse button and begin drawing over one of the doodles. And notice how that the base color is replacing the doodle color. The fill brush is used to fill large areas of the image. Choose your fill brush and change the color on the color picker. Then select the cube. Notice that once you click on the cube, the entire cube is changed to the new color. If you only want to fill in certain faces, tab into edit mode, 
and select a face. Tab back into object mode. Then next to the view button, you will see a little, looks like a little cube. And that is our face selection masking for painting. Click on that. And you'll see that the face that you chose is highlighted. Then change your color. And click on that face. The mask brush maps an image onto the mesh, but that's beyond the scope of this introductory tutorial. I will make that into a tutorial all on its own. So this was just a very quick basic tutorial to get you started on texture painting. I would encourage you to experiment with all different sorts of objects and different models. And go ahead and tweet me whatever you create. The link is in the description. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day. I hope you found this useful. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations or any creations you make in Blender. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.